Welcome to the Calm 100 video listening. This is Mr. and Mrs. L. They're neighbors of ours. They've been married for how many years? You can say. Since 2009. Okay, so a lot of years. <laughs> um, we're also here with their kids. Close your faces, cover your faces, you guys. Okay, yeah, they're, they're in the witness protection program. This is my husband. He's going to be helping us out by keeping score with something we're doing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do an interview on listening with uh, Mr. and Mrs. L. Um, you can answer together or just answer separately. Uh, tell us what listening is. What does it mean to you? Listening is using your whole body to be aware of what someone's trying to tell you, whether verbal or with signals, looks. Listening to me is giving somebody your attention and looking at them when they're talking to you and hearing what they're saying and picking up their body language for, that for me is most important. Okay. Um, when do you have to listen? Like when is it particularly important in a relationship? I think when they're confiding in you to tell you something that they wouldn't tell everyone or if they're trying to express emotions to you whether they be negative or positive. This is hysterical because they're so serious right now. You can put the sign down. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. What makes listening harder for you? Me? Yeah, either of you. Oh. Uh, giving my wife my full attention, I deeply struggle with. Okay. Why do you think that is? I'm always distracted by everything else that's going around me. Okay, so distractions. I think whatever else I'm attending to at the time, it's hard to find a time to truly give him my full attention to listen to what he has because my mind has a million other things that I think I need to be doing. Right, and having a couple of kids makes it harder. Yeah, absolutely. Not that they're at all a distraction. <laughs> no, not at all. No, okay. <laughs> all right, so we're going to play a little game now. I'd like you to um, go back to back. And Blaith, you're going to rest your uh, right arm up in the air. He's going to rest his left arm up in the air. And I'm going to go in kind of a list of different things that people do when they are trying to listen, but it can be a little bit hard. So, Kurt, when Blaith does these things, I want you to kind of wave your hand or give me a thumbs up or something like that. Blaith, you do the same thing if Kurt does these things. Okay, ready? All right. Uh, my husband over there is going to be keeping score. Here we go. Um, raise your hand if your spouse ever interrupts you. How about finishes your sentences? How about gives into distractions? Okay. How about um, is judgmental? Okay. How about gives unwanted advice? How about focuses on themselves? How about goes off on tangents? How about acts impatient like for a chance to speak? How about has uh, an answer before you're completely done getting your thought out there? Um, so raise your finger if your spouse ever tries to minimize your feelings like acts like you're overreacting. And um, how about if he or she tries to solve your problem even though all you want to do is kind of unload and talk? Okay. And what about if um, he or she gives you like nonverbal cues like eye rolling or um, looking away or anything that makes you angry sometimes? And how about um, if the person just gives you no feedback or response at all? Okay, you can turn around. Face the camera. That's really interesting. So what effect, uh, now that you have a bunch of things in your head, what effect do these things have on you when they happen? Makes me sometimes not want to express how I'm feeling or unload my problems onto him or include him into what's going on um, and what I take serious. And, you know, a lot of it is work-related, so I know he's not there every day to experience what I'm experiencing. So sometimes I hold back on that. Hmm. 
very laid back for the most part. Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time with screwing around with my buddies and I take everything pretty lightly. She's a very serious person. I'm always joking around and I'm not used to be, I sometimes work ten and a half hours so being around a serious person is is tough to deal with because we work hard but we also play hard <laughs> and, uh -huh. and that is um, it's tough to change back and forth to somebody who's serious and the seriousness of that I understand that is because it's it's the thought of what we need to get done in life for her children and mm -hmm. her family. Mm -hmm. Right. It does make it more complicated, I think, when you have a family. Um, what does, let's kind of turn it around a little bit, because, um, you know, they they are happily married, and as far as we know, <laughs> not ready for a divorce. Uh, what um, does he or she do that makes you feel like he or she is listening? He seems to always know when there's something bothering me or on my mind, um, and he's really good about asking, you know, what's going on? What are you thinking? I can tell you're putting off some kind of vibe right now. I don't always open up to him and tell him what it is right away or, you know, to the full extent of what's going on, but he always picks up on it. So he's definitely reading my body language. So even if he's not listening verbally to what I tell him all the time, I know that he's picking up on other signs mm -hmm. that I'm giving him. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to she add? always listens. Okay. She pretty much always listens to me. Uh, at this point in our relationship, um, she, I've I've learned to make decisions a little bit better um, to the point where kind of stepping up to be a man in the family is more important to not not try to make indecisive answers try to come up with an answer and, and make it my make it my answer mm -hmm. um, Yeah, good answer. Um, mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, good answer. Um, Kurt, what do you love most about her? I can't say there's one thing for me, much like a lot of the friends I've had through my life, Blythe has been become a part of my life, and... Um, what I like most about her is spending time and that we've grown together. Mm -hmm. So as you grow with a, a person, they become most important to you because of the time you spend with them. So the hard times and the bad times and the good times and the happy times, it's not easy, but it makes me love her more. I um, appreciate his ability to bring me back to reality because I can be a little over the top and um, just the way he balances me out as a wife and as a mother and as a person is what I like most about him. Okay, that was awesome, you guys. Thanks a lot.